Here we are. Here's my dreaded coffee table. This is the coffee table I started working on four years ago. I wanted to strip the finish off the top, but I had no idea what I was doing. I used citrus strip and I messed it all up. I actually did a video last week on how to use citrus strip properly because of this table. This table's been sitting in my garage, hiding, because I just, I was so upset with it, I didn't want to do it. Well, here we are, and it's time. So let's flip it. So the first step I decided to take with this is using the citrus strip just for the edges. And like I said before, I have a full video on how to use citrus strip or my process. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now because the top has so much dried citrus strip on it, I take my steel wool and my mineral spirits and I just do a wash and I scrub most of it off. I'm super surprised it came off after four years, but it did. And now I'm gonna sand it smooth. So I start with my 120 and since I've already got the finish off, it's not gonna be that bad. So it was pretty quick, it took only about 20 minutes. Now I'm using a 240 grit to go over the entire table, and that's just to keep it nice and polished. After you sand all of it off, you wanna make sure that it's really soft and smooth. Then I use my mouth sander, and I'm gonna do on the edges what the citrus strip would not take off. So far, everything's going smooth, and it's starting to look pretty nice. Here I decided I was going to use General Finishes Gel Stain in Carbon Gray. I had the idea that I was going to make the top really dark and then the bottom light with some dark waxes. But, of course as this table would have it, it just didn't go that way. I did one coat of this and it was gorgeous and I should have left well enough alone. But I didn't and a couple hours later I came back and put another coat on. Well when I was taking it off, I didn't take it all off and it became tacky. So I went in the house and I used my mineral spirits and I wiped it all off and decided I needed to do something else. So I brought it back in the house and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I know that the bottom needs to be primed with um, the bin because it has shellac in there and that protects, you know, it'll keep odors in and protects with tannins and things like that. So I knew I wanted to do at least one coat of that. So that's what I'm doing here. I took all the hardware off and I'm putting a coat of my bin primer. Maybe because I'm not feeling well or maybe because this table is cursed, I was just having bad luck. Even my primer was going on sort of gloppy and I wasn't happy about it. Now here at this point, I started using the chalked, Rust-Oleum's chalked and aged gray on the top and I forgot to hit the record button. So here I am, mid through, covering the general finishes with some chalk paint. As my luck would have it with this table, I'm getting tons of brush strokes. So I take my sanding pad and I have to sand in between each coat. And a quick tip, if you have one of those handheld vacuums, it just makes the cleanup really easy. So here I go with my water mister for a second coat of the aged gray. I use my water mister so that I don't have a lot of brush strokes, but for some reason it's just not happening. So I decide that I'm going to use the aged gray for the base of the table too. I'm just going to put it on the entire table and then figure out exactly what I'm going to do after it's covered. When the table is dry, I flip it upside down and I do two coats on the feet. Now, here we are again with a ton of brush strokes. I'm just not loving the way it looks. And I use Rust-Oleum's paint all the time and I absolutely love it. So, 
I decided we have to cover it. I sanded it again and I decided I was going to do a whitewash. I've done a video on how to whitewash. It's in my playlist so you can check that out if you're not sure how to go about doing it. Um, I use that exact same process that I use in that video. It's kind of crazy how different this piece ends up from what I had planned on doing at the beginning. In the last four or five years, I've only had one other piece that has given me this much trouble. Usually when a piece is giving me trouble, I walk away from it and I come back when I'm feeling better. But I really wanted to get this finished. So I just kept going, almost listening to what the piece was telling me. Like when it was dark, it got gummy and tacky, so it needed to be light. And then it was light and it had streaks, so it needed a, a wash. I know how crazy it sounds, but I swear, sometimes the piece just tells you what it wants. I decided now that the bottom needs depth like the top has, so I use my water-based polyurethane and I do one coat so that I can put some white wax on it. So here I'm using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in white and I'm just using my Amazon brush to put it on. And I put it in all the crevices, everywhere that I think could use a little highlight. So I let my sealer dry, then I applied the wax, and now I'm wiping it off with a damp rag. It's coming off with such ease because I used the sealer. I kind of felt like this 80s determination music was super appropriate for this video because I'm not feeling super great. I kind of have a cold and I'm really trying to get this done and there's so many obstacles to get through. I kind of feel like the Karate Kid or maybe like I'm in a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie montage. <laughs> Here we are. I decided to go dark with the handles. So I'm using my slick stick because it's a bonding primer and I want to have that on before I use chalk paint. I'm going to paint it in the Rust-Oleum's Chalked and I think it says the color is charcoal. Now I'm using Dixie Belle's Gator Hide to seal it because it's a great sealer. So I'm at my last step. So now I'm using Verithane's polyurethane. It's water-based and it's triple thick. This is a tricky one to put on. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. And I was pretty lucky because nothing went wrong and it's all finished. And I have to say, I'm super happy with the way it came out. My daughter thinks we should get rid of ours and keep this one, but I don't think so. <laughs> it's definitely going up for sale as soon as possible. But here it is. If you guys like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.